Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, we are going to check out the Dremel Easy Lock system. Uh, we're gonna test it out and see how well it works. This here is the Dremel Easy 456 cutoff wheel. Dremel says it's ideal for cutting, slicing, grooving, and trimming a variety of materials, including hard metals like steel, metal pipes, or sheet metal, uh, and it is reinforced with fiberglass. This is the Dremel Easy 402 Mandrel, and in just a minute here I'll show how that attaches to the cutoff wheel. And then over here is the Dremel uh, Shield, and Dremel says that this can redirect sparks and increased comfort from debris and sparks during cutting, grinding, sanding, and polishing applications. Um, and we'll show how all this installs into the Dremel tools. So uh, let's go ahead right now and let's take a closer look at the mandrel and the cutoff wheel and show how those install. All right, guys, so on the mandrel here, uh, the brown part of the mandrel just pulls down like so, um, and you can see that the cutoff wheel has that shape cut out to go over the top of it. So um, if you put the cutoff wheel right over that shape, and then you turn it 90 degrees, and it will go over that brown part, and then you just slowly release it until it locks into place. Uh, until it looks like that there and you want to make sure that it's locked into place um, You know, so you don't have any issues while you're using the cutoff wheel. So um, Okay, let's go ahead and show how the shield and how uh, this will install into the Dremel All right guys, so before you ever install or remove Accessories or attachments from the Dremel tool you need to make sure that it's both off and unplugged If you have a cordless model make sure to take the battery out if you can um, the first thing we're going to do is install the shield here um, and we do that just by twisting this part off here and then it will just uh, come right off and then we're going to put the shield on here like so. And then the nice thing about the shield is you can move it around to wherever you need it to be to help redirect the sparks. Um, okay, now let's go ahead and show how the cutoff wheel installs. All right guys, so for the cutoff wheel, um, we just hold down the lock button here on the Dremel tool, um, and then we can use the wrench tool here to loosen up the collet. And then we're going to take the cutoff wheel, and you just wanna make sure it installs all the way down into the tool, and we'll tighten it up as much as we can by hand there, and then we'll tighten it up all the way with the wrench tool. All right, guys, let's head over to the workbench and we'll talk about safety and I'll show how we're going to test this cutoff wheel. All right, guys, so before you ever use the Dremel tool, make sure that you've read through the operating and safety instructions. It has everything you need to know on how to use the Dremel tool both safely and properly. Uh, make sure that you take all proper safety precautions and wear the proper safety equipment. Uh, when we're cutting through metal here, sparks are going to be flying and you want to make sure that you do it the safe way and that you're wearing the proper safety equipment. Um, so what we're going to do here to test out uh, the EZ456 cutoff wheel, this is a finishing nail. Uh, this is pretty thin, but we're just going to cut through this to see how well it works. Uh, this one here, we're going to pretend that it's a, a stripped out screw and we're going to cut a slot into it. Um, so we can remove it with a flathead screwdriver. And then this one here is a thicker screw and we're just gonna see how well it cuts through that. So let me go ahead and put on my safety equipment and let's go ahead and test this out. All right guys, I also wanted to mention that if you refer to the operating and safety instructions, it will tell you the proper speed setting for the bit that you're working with and the material that you're working with. So in this case, it lets us know that the proper speed setting is 10. So I have my safety equipment on. Let's go ahead and test out this cutoff wheel. All right, guys, it cut through that one really easily. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one and we'll cut the slot in it.
All right, guys, you can see that my cut was a little bit off-centered here, but uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get the screw out with the flat head, and we can. So this is a really useful feature, you know, if you have a stripped-out screw to be able to do this. So, um, all right, let's go ahead and move on to the last screw here, and we'll see how well it cuts through that. All right, guys, it cut through that really easily as well. So this is a nice little bit. Let's go ahead and do a final recap and review. All right, guys, I did want to show you this. This is the Dremel Easy Lock Cutting Kit. This is where I got the Dremel Easy 456 and Dremel Easy Lock Mandrel that we used in this video. And the reason I wanted to show you this is because oftentimes from Dremel, you can get accessories and kits like this at a much better price than buying the accessories individually. Like in this kit, I got 10 different cutoff wheels, three different types of cutoff wheels, and the Easy Lock Mandrel all for a better price than buying these individually. So um, now we're not gonna test these, uh, all of these cutoff wheels in this video. We just tested the EZ456, but I do plan to test these in the future, so please check back. I also have a, a library where I test a lot of the different Dremel accessories and attachments, and I'll link that at the end of this video. In case you have time, please check it out. And for the Dremel Shield, I got it with the Dremel 3000 when I purchased it. There were different options available with the Dremel 3000 that came with different attachments, and this is the one that I decided on that came with the Dremel Shield. All right, guys, well, that was it. The Dremel Easy 456 cutoff wheel and Dremel shield. I like the Easy Lock system from Dremel. It's easy to get the cutoff wheel on and off. Um, I thought the cutoff wheel did a really good job, and I was most impressed with that middle screw that we were pretending uh, was stripped out. And I was able to cut the slot into it, and even though I cut it off centered, we were still able to get it out with the flathead screwdriver. So, uh, you know, I was really impressed with how it did that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.